PhD or Doctor of Philosophy is the highest academic degree one can earn and is typically pursued by individuals seeking expertise in a specific field. The primary focus of a PhD program is on original research and the creation of a new knowledge. The PhD program generally takes around 3 to 6 years to complete depending on the field of study, nature of research and the individual's progress. Here, I am going to explain about the procedures and stages involved in PhD program. To begin, you need to select a university and successfully clear the entrance exam administered by that institution. Entrance exam comes in two categories, those specific to the university and those conducted at all in Level. After clearing the entrance exam, the next stage is selecting a research topic. This is the crucial and initial stage in the research process. Once you have decided on a topic, the next stage is selecting a guide who is an expert in the field of your chosen topic. The guide's expertise should also align with your research area. The next stage is a literature review where the researcher should collect journals of the last 10 years on the chosen topic to gain an understanding on the current research and develop innovative ideas based on it. Through careful examination of existing research, scholars formulate new concepts and inventions based on expected outcome. Then prepare a proposal and submit to the selected guide. After getting approval from the selected guide for research proposal, the next stage is step-by-step -step implementation of the research proposal, where the researcher implements strategies and plans outlined in the research proposal. If the guide is satisfied with the implemented work, the next stage is converting this implemented work into document, that is research paper writing. It includes the following format. The first one is abstract. Here the researcher should summarize the entire research work. Second one is introduction, which includes the work background, motivation and aim for doing the research work. The third one explains about the research methodologies used for the implementation of the work. The fourth section is results and discussion, which reports the findings of the research work and connect them to the findings of other research studies. Fifth one is conclusion, where the researcher summarizes the key findings, synthesizes the results and offers insights and interpretation based on present-day data. In every six months, to evaluate the progress of the work, there is a doctoral committee meeting. The doctoral committee consists of department head, guide and other experts. The researcher has to submit the work in the meeting. After getting approval from the committee, then comes the next stage of publishing this work into reputed journals like Scopus Index Journal, SCI, SCIE Index Journals, etc. As part of research, at least three sets of work should be done and published in reputed journal. Although I mentioned three sets of work, well, the number may vary depending on the research topic. Once you have completed publishing all the three sets of work in reputed journal, then the next stage is synopsis writing. Synopsis is a concise summary or overview of the proposed research project. It is a crucial document that outlines the key elements of the research to provide an understanding of the scope, objectives, methodologies and expected outcomes. The purpose of writing a synopsis in a PhD program is to provide a clear and structured plan of the research that is undertaken as part of doctoral study. The key components included in a PhD synopsis are title, a clear and informative title that reflects the main theme of the research, introduction, an introduction which includes the background information of the research problem, establishes the context and outlines the significance of the study. Objectives are clearly defined research objectives of questions that the study aims to address. Literature review, a brief review of relevant literature to demonstrate an understanding of the existing knowledge and research gap in the field. Methodology, an overview of the research design, method and technique employed to collect and analyze data. Scope and limitations, a discussion on the scope of the study as well as limitations or constraints that may impact the research expected outcome, anticipated results and their potential implications on the field. The research timeline, a proposed timeline or schedule outlining the various stages of research including data collection, analysis and writing. References, a list of key references cited in the synopsis. Synopsis is usually submitted to an academic committee or review panel for approval before the research work begins. It serves as a roadmap for researcher, allowing both researcher and evaluator to have an understanding on the proposed study's objectives and methodology. The approval of synopsis is a crucial part in initiating research project. After completing the synopsis writing, the university conducts a synopsis meeting to evaluate the overall work done which is mentioned in the synopsis. If the researcher successfully completes this evaluation, 
will get the permission to submit the thesis. Then submit the thesis to the guide and make updations on the thesis according to the guide's instruction if needed. Then submit the thesis before the research director with the guide's approval. On the next stage, the research director sends this thesis to an Indian and foreign subject experts, which takes two to six months duration. If any one of the evaluator make any suggestions on the thesis, the researcher must make the correction according to the comments made by the evaluator. A correction DC will be conducted for the evaluation of the corrected thesis. On the final stage of PhD process, the completed thesis is resubmitted to the research director. Subsequently, an important step is to conduct a public meeting where a date is chosen in consultation with the esteemed Indian subject experts. This meeting is arranged for an open defense allowing members of the university, community, the public and other experts from other institutions to attend. During the open defense, the researcher presents their comprehensive work to the assembled audience. Following the presentation, a question and answer session ensues wherein the audience, including the subject experts, may pose various queries related to the presented work. Successfully addressing these inquiries is also crucial. Upon the successful completion of the defense and satisfactory responses to the questions, the university invited uh, experts make a declaration conferring doctoral degree and recognizing the individual as a PhD holder. This culminating moment acknowledges the researchers' significant contribution to their field of study and marks the completion of their doctoral journey.